It's two years since I started redesigning the website of Tombien, and it's finally finished, so here's the story. If you are working in the creative field, you know that the most complicated thing is to redesign your website. But why? Because generally, the client work is not the priority. So create your website become a background process. And also the fact that you are totally free give you the possibility to change your mind every single day. For example, in my case, I changed three times my mind before I arrived to the final version. But I didn't decide to redesign my website just for fun. There is a reason. When I did the last website in 2020, I was alone in the studio and now we are four. And also now the studio is not just uh, client work. There is also the course and also the YouTube channel. So I wanted that this website show all the aspects from the studio, the YouTube channels, the course and the client project. That's the main reason of the redesign. And the other reason was that there is too many pages and finally it was pretty hard to manage because you need to, every time that you have a new client project, you need to create a new client page. Also, there is an about page, the menu, the, I mean, too many pages that finally, yeah, too easy to manage. And I wanted something really easy to manage on long term or don't waste so much time managing the websites. I needed something easy that reflect on being in 2022. So to do this, I needed to take care of a few points. First point is architecture. I wanted to get out of the classic studio website architecture. That's why there is no about page, no interior project page, and no contact page. I created a lateral menu that mix the menu, the about page, and the contact page. Like that you have everything in one single place. Another point was the copywriting. For me it was super important because it was a pain point in the last website. Because I did the copywriting by myself, so it was pretty shitty. But this time I called Julie. Julie is a super copywriter and she helped me a lot in this phase. The goal was to catch the spirit of the studio in few words. I didn't want a website with a lot of text because honestly people don't spend a lot of time on a website. So I just want to see the project, what we do, read about a little about us, but yeah, in few words it's enough. And she did an amazing job and a big up to the catchphrase because you really say everything about the studio. I'll let you check. It talked about us, it talked about what we do and the kind of client we want to attract. Another point was the identity. And for this phase, I work with Pac. Pac is a great brand designer. The challenge was to have a sober identity, but I didn't want neither to have a studio with black and white like we see a lot these days. That's why we chose this really warm beige, which represent the Mediterranean side of the studio. In terms of font, at the beginning was MD Primer, which is a great font, but finally on the website, I had difficulty to play with. So finally, I switched to Swiss ENTL, which have more geometric structure. Another point was the animation. The goal was to don't overload the website with useless animation. So I tried to mix between simplicity and animation, which created a nice experience on the website. That's why, for example, I wanted in the hero of the homepage to let the project talk. That's why we have this parallax animation of big images and project. And after we talk about the studio. Another interesting thing about the animation was the overall animation where we proposed the services. It was a funny way to show different screen and it's a kind of animation that you don't see often in a website. So I'm pretty happy that we, we did this. Another main point was the development and it's linked to the animation. If you follow the channel and you start to know us, you know that we develop this website on Webflow. And also if you don't follow the channel, it's time to subscribe to the channel. And for this development phase, it's Mael who did the job. It was a great opportunity for Mael to play with GSAP and Barbage.js to create a website as smooth as possible. And it shows us how amazing is GSAP in terms of animation and performance. So be ready to see more videos about GSAP in the channel really soon. But we've got a problem. Everything was going well, the website was almost done, that a small detail was annoying us. And this detail was that the website was a little laggy. Not, not so much, but when you scroll, you feel like it's, it's not super free. And it's something that I really didn't want. 
I, I really love websites when you're for example I go in OARs. I really love websites when you have a smooth and fluid experience when you navigate on the website. So for me it was really important. So the first thing was to optimize video and images by compressing with the new feature of Webflow, which allows us to compress images in web app. I'm not sure about the pronunciation, let me know in the comment. This feature is really cool because even if I compress the image in JPEG, the fact to compress in web app really reduces the weight of the image and this is really a cool optimization, it's super important. But even after that, the website was laggy. No! No! So Mile digged the problem for hours and finally realized that it was the project page that caused trouble. I wanted to create a double lateral movement when you scroll in the view, like you can see now on the screen. And finally it was too much because every line was a scroll animation. So finally, if you have, for example, 10 projects, I have two lines per project, so it was 20 animation while scrolling the view on the same page. So we simplify the page and find it's better because I realized that was a useless animation and it didn't bring nothing to people when they visit the website. It was just an animation for an animation. So find it was a good thing that it happened. So finally, now the website is done and we are super happy to show you the website. A big thanks to Julie, Pac and Mike for the work. They did an amazing job. Let me know what you think about the website, I hope you like it and also if there is something that you want to see, some animation or that we explain something deeper, let us know. See you soon and ciao!